Sup yokes, uh, welcome to the Stanley Parable. Uh, that's what we'll be playing today, I guess. Um, yeah, why don't we just begin? <laughs> the end is never. Okay. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. All right, okay. Here we go. So I assume it's just like, uh, tells me what to do and shit. <laughs> okay. All of his co-workers oh. were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he okay. couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Oh, everyone's coming online now, nice, okay. Um, I assume the meeting room's like right through the doors. I can't open these, can I? Oh, what? Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but oh. it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. That's nice. I hate Mondays. Nice. That's pretty true. <laughs> okay. Um. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. See, I don't know what I'm meant to do here. Because it's like, should I follow him or should I just do my own thing and go to the right? Because it's like, you know, man, I'm independent. Uh, I'm gonna f go this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Oh, okay. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth that the detour after all, really just disturbing. to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply $1. stood here, drinking wow. it all in. It's pretty cheap for fucking drink. A little soft drink, especially. Oh, okay. Yeah. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Does it? Does it want me to follow the instructions? Why is the door open? <laughs> this is weird, man. Oh, fuck it, I'll just follow him. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. See, that shit looks exciting. Look at... Oh, okay. 
But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, from here, it's, um, left. Okay, then. Oh, no. No, it's to the right. My mistake. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Now, let's right see. We went down right, left, down, left, <laughs> right. Yep, yeah, yep, okay. Cheat code. Okay, yes, I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. This is pretty weird. Okay. What no, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh. Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. Oh. Okay then. I guess All I'm of restarting. All were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Ah, uh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. 420, mate. I didn't even know that last time. And I just went to it automatically. I'm like, what? When Stanley... Wait, wait, what? Oh, it's different. No, I, no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or... Uh, hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know okay, for sure cool. that it's here somewhere. Okay then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Well, thanks, mate. Wait, can I jump? I can't jump. Can I? No. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Um... Can't keep doing that, man. Can't keep doing that. That's All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Is this different? It seems kind of different. Okay, yep, it's worse. <laughs> I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why what don't we fuck? go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Oh, this is going to be completely fucked now. I can just tell it. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. Okay then. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Okay then. Oh. Just moving rooms around all my Now this... Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. 
Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! Ooh, yeah, I, won. I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. Good choice, good choice, man. <laughs> He's like setting up a line so I know where to go. All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. Trademark. How simple is that? Nice. Oh, whoops. Uh, no, no, let's, let's do this. That just, that doesn't seem like the right way, but all right. I'll just follow along with you. You see, row. the line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying well, a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. The well, fuck? I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? Cool. I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. That's not what I was thinking. Cut the music, go back, and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Um, okay, it's a fern. Let's just move on. I don't... That is a really weird volatile. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? <laughs> oh, no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? Fired. And after we nice. trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Well, I can't take this anymore to hell with it. Restart. Yay. This game should be called, like, Restart instead, because I'm fucking restarting constantly. Yeah. Well, anyway, we should end this first episode here. That has been fun. Thanks for watching. If you did, um, yeah, thanks.